What do you think? I think we're dead meat. Real dead meat. You're dead meat! Go ahead and laugh, you guys. The final final little passes at this is a dead meat. Out of the golden face off or coolest hill to Scorpion, no competition. I already love seeing practical flames burn a bastard skelly, but then you add some lava blood into the mix? Talk about toasty! I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to, uh, smoke? Just because it looks practical when he's standing there as a frozen cyborg. That's cool, I, I guess. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Caroline. Most of the kills in this movie were well done, but man, do I love that zoom background bit. Such a good use of this form. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to the twofer of Denise and Duke. I like Anna's decapitation, but the double spear really sums up the sexiness and violence that these types of movies are known for. Plus, they got cribbed by a Jason movie. Talk about influential. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Greg Hellman. Steve's death may be the famous photo on the video cover, but Greg's comes after a scene with some nicely constructed tension. And it also speaks to a personal fear of mine. Can't lift a failure by yourself, dude. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Helen Cooper. I can't imagine seeing this kill on the big screen in 1968. It must have been a real assault on the senses. Completely disturbing. I love it. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to David, torn apart by zombies. It's so graphic, I can't even show it all in the public version of this video. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to the five bikers we see getting torn apart in the mall. It's super disgusting, and an abrupt tonal change after all that clown shit. Definitely Savini flexing his skills. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Jason. Not just because it was the most violent, or because it meant the end of the scary asshole character, but because of the entire fun trippy sequence it capped off. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Rhodes, though I will say this wasn't a given. Tasso Stavrakis' death was gnarly, as were a few others for various reasons. But the choke on it line is what won me over in the end. It's literally the only cool thing Captain Rhodes ever did. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Jason, even though he does come back to life in the end. That effect, done practically, is absolutely fantastic. A whole Dexter-ass kill room had to be constructed in order to film it thanks to all the spraying blood. Good effing work, Zorin. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Song Hwa. Almost every kill in this movie is a variant on biting or turning into a zombie, so I'll give the award to the strong boy who held zombies off as he died. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to the elders at the Atastupa, both of them. It's a horrific moment with absolutely shocking gore and, like, the car scene in Hereditary shows you the movie ain't fucking around. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to the second stoner dude for sure. His heart getting removed is the most gore we see in the film, and I love the unique weapon with which it was done. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Patriot. Vice Principal Sims's death was great, but Patriot's felt more impactful because he was a kid. And yeah, impactful was a pun, motherfuckers! Golden chainsaw for coolest kill is actually gonna go to two separate kills, because I just can't decide between them. Firstly, the head thief, since I legit laughed when Luke knocked him over, and those people parts look great. Thank you. Secondly, Dark Scream. A warrior's death is the noblest death, and also the nastiest. I love PG's unhinged jaw. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Money. All three kills were basically the same thing, but his was so sudden and had the most style to it. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Jack. I almost gave it to Mrs. Voorhees, but that kill was done with a fake head. The fact that we watch Kevin Bacon's face as he dies is what gives this kill the edge. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Mark. I love the suddenness of the machete to the face, and the tragedy of him falling backwards down that huge flight of stairs. Also, I think there might be a person in that chair for that stunt? That's so dangerous! I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill, very obviously, to Kate. I mean, her head was sliced into bread-sized pieces. And not like Wonder Bread, that shit was Texas toast! Fucking gross. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Andy. Not only is it good and gory, the way it's shot from beneath is awesome. His corpse dripping down blood 
blood is a memorable sight too. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Ziggy and Cindy Berman. It's a double whammy that's filmed in a super serious way, especially when they cut out the sad music and stop the slow-mo, but the killers keep on stabbing just the same. Add in Cindy's dying words that nothing will keep the sisters apart, and you've got a masterpiece of a death scene here. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to the J-Man himself, Jason Voorhees. That character needed a spectacular death, and boy did they deliver. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Sarah Fear. Not because it was gory or anything, but because it was so epic and poignant. This is the moment the whole trilogy hangs on, literally, and boy did they nail it. Great work. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Eddie. I love how nasty and painful it looks. Probably the best makeup effects in the movie, alongside Tina's eyes. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Sheriff Garris. I like the triple decap and Sissy's gnarly head twist, but Garris goes out fighting for his daughter like a G and gets a sickening backwards body bend I can't help but love. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Judy. It's not that bloody, but it's memorable in its simplicity. And besides, who am I to argue with Kane Hodder himself? I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Dimitri. It may not be the one we were most looking forward to, but the effects on his stabbed face are seriously nasty. Doubly so later, when we see his corpse all waterlogged. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Julius, because it's part of the only scene in this trash movie that I like. Once again, my favorite kill of the movie matches with Kane Hodder's, maybe because it was cathartic after filming that scene. I took a little abuse myself, so by the time it was time to knock the head off the dummy, I was ready to do it. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Deputy Josh, since I'm using the theatrical cut here. Love the dissolution of his body into the ground. These Cronenberg effects are super random in a Friday film, but I can't not be impressed by them. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Rashar. The smarmy secondary antagonist needs to have a solid death, and he did. This thing does not suck on so many levels. Only one. I'll give the golden ch I mean, it's the liquid nitrogen face smash. You know it, I know it, we we all know this thing's the golden chainsaw. It's one of the best kills of all time. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Captain Garza. Suffocating in hot wax is horrific and new to me. Closest thing I can think of is that creepy kill in Tourist Trap. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Trey. Despite the stupid slow-mo, the machete stabs are brutal. And how can I not love Jason folding a guy into an acute angle? I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to this woman from the opening scene, cause she gets swiped pretty hard. Plus, I used to drive a Taurus. Now, no, makes me nostalgic. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Amanda. A lot of great kills in this one, but her sleeping bag roasting still feels the most horrific to me. Plus, she was oiling herself up before it happened. That skin would have been so crispy! I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Adrian. The hallway monster isn't the most impressive of all the creatures, but I love the stop motion effect of her face melting. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Frank Cotton's second death. This is the film's ultimate kill, and it lives up to the anticipation. Pinhead talked a big game the whole movie, and he was able to back it up. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to the Chenard Cenobite. Only thing cooler than a decapitation is a half decap. It's so much messier. Love the bloody practical effects they used for this one. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to JP Monroe. I don't know where those pistons came from or what they really do, but they were stabbed through a guy's hat. And that's good enough for me. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Mrs. Turkey. Even though it's a turkey, it's still good prosthetic work. I can respect that. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to John Merchant. Yeah, I know, I'm biased towards decapitations, but this one was done in a gruesome, painful way. Plus, he was a main character. That adds to the impact. Golden chainsaw for coolest kill is tough, because there were a lot of awesome ones but I'll give it to Natara. I think it's the kill most people will remember walking away from this thing. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Richie. I love all the kills, but this one was the most fascinating and gross to look at. And that's even before they blew up the head. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Finley Stevens. It's not super graphic, but I love the way it's framed. Such a cool shot trucking out from the exterior of the apartment building. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to the guy who gets stabbed in the eye with a toy sword. Definitely the most graphic kill. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Thing One, a victim of his own saw-like trap. Just like with saw traps, that cage was a practical rig, built by special effects coordinator Zack Knight. It really flipped over a stunt performer by her neck. Good goddamn! I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Walter Chang. It's the most on-screen death, and it's amazing to see someone actually in the mouth of one of these mother humpers. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill 
kill to Julio. That leg chewing was gnarly as hell, and it's the only time we actually see these shriekers doing damage. Plus, it emotionally scarred Kate, and that's always a plus. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Buford, mostly because it's our only practical Graboid kill. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to old Fred. It's a great misdirect from the original Tremors, and a solid severed head by KNB FX. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Van Wick. It's our first good look at the new Graboid, and it's a nice change from the sucked underground kills of Yester films. Plus, it's always nice to see a villain get his comeuppance, especially one with a stupid ass cigar. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to the on fire DARP agent. Fire stunts aren't cheap, and then the guy gets eaten afterward? Poor Graboid, too, probably feels like it ate a pizza bagel just out of the microwave. But hey, when pizza's on a bagel, you can eat people anytime. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to nobody. Sure, Bird is an important kill, but it's so meaningless and aggravating, I will not reward it.